let me put this in a bracket. Or parentheses. As you can see, this is uh, the formula for the amount due. It's very important. That's how this formula came about. So um, I'm gonna close it. Then we go into how to design it. So I'm gonna go to design view. Okay. If you are on your Microsoft Access, all you gotta do is um, go on the create button and click table and then go to design view then name it invoice in this case I already have invoice so I will say invoice 2 uh, invoice 1 as you can see it just brings me to this page and I will start designing my invoice I will say invoice ID and there is a list to choose from set this one to order number and we're gonna go in the, um, the, the next information that will, is very critical that you need on your invoice is the date the date that invoice took place and as you can see let's read it you the name you supplied is a reserve word reserve words have a specific meaning to Microsoft or to the Microsoft Access database engine. If you use the reserve where you may receive an error when referring to this field. Say okay, cancel help. What do you do? Let's just say okay. Alright, it's not gonna create any problem uh, for now. And here, see the drop down list. There is date and time you click date. And over here, we're just gonna uh, replicate this invoice. So I'll go, the next thing we need is business name, service description, retail price, discount amount, tax payment type and amount due okay so I'm gonna go here start typing business name and shot uh, this one we are gonna look the business name we have to register uh, the client and the business and he, the client his or her business name in order to get this business so this, this name is going to be a look up value let's go here on the last one you see look up wizard we're gonna click that let's say it has two options this with Z creates a lookup field, which displays a list of values you can choose from. How do you want your lookup field to get its values? And it has two options. I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query. I will type in the values that I want. You can do this. You can type or if you have already registered a client, you don't need to type. You just go inside the database and look up for the uh, business names. This is called the data is feeding itself.
to avoid typing mistake you might want to use um, um i want the lookup field to get the values from table or query so click um next button we will um check this box and then go next so and which table or query should provide the values for your lookup field and it has all your tables that you already have which is over here client invoice invoice one services we're gonna look for this business name in the client table so we're gonna take client table and uh, we are just using tables for now queries comes later I will do another tutorials show you how you can use queries or you can use both queries and tables but for now for the purpose of this design we're gonna use tables click next and since we're gonna search for the business name in the current table we just need the business name so we're gonna click uh, on the business name then click this arrow it's gonna take you to the selected field then you click next and this is how you're gonna sort it we want to sort it by um, business name next and these are the list of business names you have already registered so we good so we can click finish finish your table must be sorted before relationship can be created save now yes save okay now we're gonna go to um, service description service description and this one too is going to be a lookup value because we have registered our services that we do therefore we're not gonna add um, add in a service that we don't have in our database so very important we need this as a lookup value same thing we follow the same steps and we're gonna choose services over here next and we're gonna choose service description and click the arrow go next and we want this service description as well over here next then these are all our services then next um let me talk about this what label would you like for the lookup field we need this name we're not going to change do you want to enable data integrity between these tables this is very important i should have done that in the business name field but for now let's click this one this means enable data integrity means we are going to enable our data integrity uh, for some reason if a service get deleted from here our invoice that we we're going to provide that has same service description 
it's not going to let you delete this because you can delete a services right service that you have provided whilst you have issued an invoice for that same um, services that means you are making you are restricting a deletion from your uh, database this is very good because you don't want people to be messing with your database to delete some stuff that is very cool for your business so you enable the data integrity you are not letting people delete things that are link for instance invoice that you have a service description you cannot delete services in your service data this is very important so it's there to help you restrict deletion okay we're gonna click finish yes we want to save this okay um just click okay it's not going to do nothing now let's look at it on table b and see what we have done see you just say it wasn't unable it wasn't able but we still have it and also we 